First, uh, this is the GitHub website. This is where you can find everything. You just go to the releases tab, and you can see all the new things that have changed in version 6.1. Uh, let's just go through them real quick. So there's some Kindle scribe changes. Uh, the biggest change is we reduce the dependency on 7-zip, on R, and Homebrew by using built-in tar. Uh, you can look at the pull request if you care about more details, but basically, you don't need to install 7-zip anymore unless you're using advanced features. So that's pretty cool, and this is especially important on Mac, since that means you don't need to install Homebrew either, which is a pretty big dependency, like several gigabytes or something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, details here, it's pretty cool. And then now the prereq section of the, of the readme has been updated. A 7-zip, this is optional as, as of 6.1, only need if you're using advanced features or using an older Windows version or an older KCC version. If you need to install it for any other reason, just check out the, just refer to the wiki right here. And also, we've changed some things about how Kindle Gen is detected. Uh, Kindle Gen, basically, you just need to install Kindle Previewer, and Kindle Gen will be auto detected from it. So, first, you just need to install Kindle Previewer just by clicking the installer. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Click next to continue. I agree. And then it's very important that this is the destination folder that you want to install to. Don't change it, because this is where we're expecting it to install to. Uh, just click install. And it, this might take a little while. Okay, but while we wait, this is important. You just need to install Kindle Previewer and do it. Uh, basically, you need to check. Kindle Gen is looking in this location for Kindle Gen. All right, so it's not installed yet, so it can't find it. So we'll just wait until it's done. And now we're picking up after we finished installing Kindle Previewer. Now if we open up KCC, just click on it, you'll see that it no longer will ask for you to install Kindle Gen because we've installed it. See, there's no warnings, looks great. Uh, but now, if for some reason that you still have the installation warning, then this is how you fix it. Uh, just copy local app data, copy it into, into File Explorer and you'll see it. Then you'll see Kindle Gen, so you just copy Kindle Gen. Control C it, and then copy it to the desktop, and cool. You just put it next to the executable, and it'll detect it right there if it's right next to it. So that's pretty convenient. And yeah, that's basically all you need to do. Uh, if it's not there, then and it's somewhere else, then you'll just need to find out where that folder is. It just you just need to find some folder that's called Amazon slash Kindle Previewer three slash libfc slash bin. You just need to find that folder wherever it is on your computer, and then just place kindlegen.exe next to kcc.exe, and that's about it. And thanks. That's uh, these are all the most important updates. Uh, wait, let's go through the rest of them real quick. Uh, add a new dedupe cover option for landscape alignment. It's right here. Just hover over the option to see it. You can also hover over the convert button to see a pretty cool thing. Shift plus click to select the output directory. Uh, we've added Kobo Libre color. We add some color profiles here. Pretty cool. Uh, and some various Kindle scribe fixes. We fixed the Linux app image. Improved the Kindle detention blah blah blah, prereq read me, windows docker, whatever, cool. Cool, thanks. If you like this sort of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you feel really generous, feel free to donate to the creators on PayPal. I'm the third guy right here, okay? Alright, thank you. Peace.